Good morning, everybody. My name is Jamison Keller. I'm the Vice President of Strategic Development with Agency RM. Thank you very much for attending our webinar today on customizing a health plan for your Medicare clients. Now, what we're going to go over is we're going to focus on Medicare, but really what we're going to talk about could be used for any of your clients as far as the product solution that we're going to discuss um, for, for this particular uh, company. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, so first things first, this is 2019. Everything is customizable, all right? Uh, Henry Ford back in 1909 said, any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants as long as it's black. So that was the extent of customization back in 1909. Today, I mean, I can't even tell you how many car colors there are. And then, of course, there's always aftermarketed as well. You can customize your phone case. You can get a perfume or a cologne that is specifically personalized and customized to your body chemistry. Uh, between Android with the Google Assistant and just all of the functionality in modifying your, your phone uh, to suit your needs, to Siri on the iPhone, to so many different things that are out there, Customization and personalization is really what today's economy is truly all about. People don't wanna be stuck in a box. They wanna feel important, they wanna feel unique. But more importantly, they have needs that need to be met. And by personalization and customization, that's how you meet a specific individual's needs. Now, in the Medicare health field, why are we still putting people into boxes? All right, and what I mean by that is we've got three major plan types that are out there today. Uh, if you look at this chart here, what you'll see is you see the risk levels, all right, low to high. The highest amount of risk is obviously original Medicare. There are no maximum amount of pockets. There are no um, uh, limits to ultimately what somebody pays. So with original Medicare, it's the highest amount of risk that uh, you ultimately have. There's no maximums. Uh, you could pay $100,000 in one year if you get really unlucky on original Medicare. Uh, going up the scale, we've then got Medicare Advantage, and I put this at kind of a, uh, a mid-high risk because if you compare that to a Medicare supplement, all right, the risk is certainly different. On a Medicare Advantage plan, we've got maxed out of pockets, so it protects us, but we still have co-pays and co-insurance, and if something goes wrong, we still could end up more out of pocket than what we expected versus a Medicare supplement plan, the risk is known, all right? The risk on the health side is really your premium. Now, we're not gonna take into account the things that just aren't covered by Medicare at all, because that's a whole different ball of wax uh, as far as its risk. But if we look at the, the spectrum today, all right, we can see that a Medicare supplement has the least amount of risk, followed by Medicare Advantage and then uh, original Medicare. Now, I don't want you to take this as Medicare Advantage is high risk because everybody falls in a different risk tolerance, but Medicare Advantage is a higher risk than Medicare Supplement. And that's because you pay to reduce that risk up front with your premiums on a Medicare Supplement plan. Now, what if there was another option, all right, that lowered the risk of a Medicare Advantage plan but was not quite all the way there to Medicare supplement. This could be an interesting concept. There's a lot of people that maybe can't get on to a Medicare supplement. Maybe they're under the age of 65. Maybe they can't get on to Medicare supplement because of underwriting reasons, or they can't get on to Medicare supplement because it costs too much. Or just bottom line, they don't want to get into the Medicare supplement world. It's, an, it's, it's too high a price. It doesn't fit their needs. It's too uh, risk averse as opposed to a Medicare Advantage plan. What if there was another option, a hybrid product, if you will, that was in between the Medicare Advantage and the Medicare Supplement lines? So let's talk just a second about the cost comparison between Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage. So we gotta do apples to apples here, and so we're gonna add a few things into a Medicare Supplement premium that are usually included on a Medicare Advantage plan. So Medicare Advantage plans are on average gonna be between zero and $40 a month. They oftentimes will include uh, prescription drugs, dental, vision, and fitness. Now we're gonna go the low end of the spectrum, all right, so that it's apples to apples on both sides. So low end of the spectrum, your total premium on Medicare Advantage here is gonna be zero. Now if we compare that on the Medicare supplement side, all right, in Washington state, because I know the majority of the people on this call are in Washington, you can use your own numbers for other states, but in Washington state, the average plan G, all right, runs about $170. Now, some are a little higher, some are a little lower, but we're gonna go $170. 
Now to add prescription drug coverage, we're gonna add a $40 premium. To add dental, and uh, I put two numbers on here, 25 to 50 bucks. It's usually about $50 for a comprehensive dental plan. I just cut that number in half in order to say preventive because typically a Medicare Advantage plan only has preventive dental, especially if you're looking at that lower premium range. Vision is about $10, all right? And a fitness membership benefit, this could be all over the map. You could be at Planet Fitness for $10. You could be at the YMCA for $80. So I put a fitness membership average cost of $40 a month. So if we look, our output on a Medicare Advantage plan is zero, and our output on a Medicare supplement with comparable benefit package is $276. Now, I know you're saying it's not comparable benefit package, but just go with me here, all right? 276 versus zero. Is that $3,300 a year roughly worth the co-pays that one would pay uh, on a Medicare Advantage plan? Are you gonna reach $3,300 per year in co-pays on an MA plan, is it worth it to buy that Medicare supplement plan? This is gonna be different per customer. We have to think about customizing for our customers. So in some cases, yes, it's worth it. In other cases, no, it's not worth it. In some cases, somebody doesn't have that middle ground in order to make that decision. Somebody wants some of the additional protection of a Medicare supplement, but they can't get that unless they jack up their premium on a Medicare Advantage plan to the point where you might as well just buy a Medicare supplement anyway. There's no $600 per year option that provides a reduction of risk that's worth it between MA and Medicare supplement. So what are the highest risk benefits of a Medicare Advantage plan that we're talking about? All right, hospital, cancer. These are the two big ones in my opinion. All right. Hospital, you're going to be you're looking at around eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars for a single hospital stay is what it could end up costing you. Cancer. We all know with cancer, you're probably going to hit your max out of pocket. All right. You have chemotherapy and radiation. Those are typically a 20 percent benefit. You're probably hitting your max out of pocket, which is going to be between four thousand and sixty seven hundred dollars max out of pocket on a Medicare Advantage plan. Skilled nursing facility can be a pretty big risk as well. Uh, you know, typically the first 20 days are covered. Then after that, you're sitting around $170 a day for 20 days, 21 through uh, 60 or 21 through 100. Gets pretty expensive pretty quickly if you end up in a skilled nursing facility. I can tell you that my mother-in-law was recently in a skilled nursing facility for three months. So if you say, well, they kick you out after 20 days, sometimes that's true. It's not always true. All right, let's think about risk here. Um, our job as insurance agents is to assess the risk for an individual, help understand what their level of risk tolerance is, identify a product that then fits their needs and fits their risk levels or their risk tolerance levels, and then present that product to them and educate them in a way that helps them to understand how that particular product or that particular package of products ultimately fills their needs. All right, you create that gap between what they currently have today what their needs are, and then your job is to fill that gap. The other uh, kind of more minor uh, risks of a Medicare Advantage plan are outpatient surgery and imaging. Otherwise, if we're looking at a Medicare Advantage plan, we're talking a $10 to $20 copay for a PCP, a $35 to $50 copay for uh, a specialist. We're looking at a hospital or ER, which can be a little bit higher. Uh, maybe some Part B meds, but generally the risk is a lot lower on a Medicare Advantage plan in the, in the amount of copay that they're paying for a service versus these five benefits right here. And I would put definitely number one and two right on top, hospital and cancer. So how do we customize something for somebody or how do we solve this need of a gap product in between a Medicare Advantage plan and a Medicare supplement? How do we fill that spot to pick that to, to help take care of that client that is a little concerned about that hospital and cancer risk on Medicare Advantage, but maybe not so much that $3,300 plus per year is worth it on a Medicare supplement? And how about the fact that so many doctors nowadays are ultimately stopping taking original Medicare and stopping taking Medicare supplement plans because they've learned they can make more money on a Medicare Advantage plan? Or maybe they're only taking existing patients or existing uh, Medicare clients on Medicare supplement or original Medicare and they're blocking everybody else out. Whether we like it or not, the world is moving closer to Medicare Advantage and we're being that's being forced upon us 
rather than having truly that option. Uh, in some states, we're seeing commissions being lowered on Medicare supplement products down to the 2% range, uh, especially on guaranteed issue products. That makes it unsustainable for us as insurance professionals to be able to sell. There's no way we can work our client base and sell and, and continue to serve them and make enough money to do that on a 2% commission. In some cases, we're seeing agents being dropped completely out of the picture on Medicare supplement. And the whole purpose of this by an insurance carrier is to lower the guaranteed issue risk that's coming into their company, to lower the commissions that are being paid out so that they can keep their premiums in a competitive position. Because the younger people, the healthier people, the folks that are just entering Medicare are used to a managed care style model or are used to having some uh, cost sharing with their health care. So they're going the Medicare Advantage route instead of the supplement route most of the time. We've watched the, over the last few years, we've watched the Medicare Advantage penetration rate nationally go from around 20% to over 30% just in a few years. And we have to remember that Medicare Advantage isn't even available in a lot of the country. You know, you get outside of the the uh, uh, metropolitan areas and oftentimes Medicare Advantage either isn't a good deal or it disappears altogether. So the Medicare supplement po population is aging. Premiums are going up. Insurance carriers are trying to figure out how do they reduce their risk? How do they keep their premiums low? So they're cutting agents out. They're cutting commissions. They're making it more difficult on underwriting. So what's happening is we as agents are ultimately being cut out. Your clients are being cut out. They need another option instead of just Medicare Advantage, because Medicare Advantage is not a one shoe fits all. We've got other needs other than just what Medicare Advantage products offer because people have different risk tolerances. So how do we build this type of package? How do we customize it? There's products out there, GTL, Medico, Surebridge. These are products that are already out on the market. All right, a lot of you have toyed with these before. You've looked at GTL, you've looked at Medico and said, okay, hospital indemnity, sure, whatever. But number one, we haven't had a product like Surebridge, at least in the state of Washington, and Surebridge is around for a while, but we haven't had a product like this that is so customizable. We haven't had a tool that makes it easy to work with a client and take care of them. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And we're gonna focus specifically on Surebridge. GTL and Medico are out there and they serve their position. I found in a lot of these states, Surebridge happens to be a much more competitive product from pricing, and I'll show you this, but much more competitive product for pricing. But what I particularly like is the customizability factor of it. And you're gonna see that when we get into the quote demo. But what does this look like? So this is a 65 year old male in 98101, which happens to be Seattle, Washington. On the left hand side, we see a made up Medicare Advantage plan. Okay, made up, but it looks like a lot of the MA plans that are on the market in that market today. Zero premium, inpatient hospitals, $450 a day for the first three days. Uh, sometimes it's for the first four days. Therapeutic radiology or chemotherapy is 20% up to around a $5,000 max out of pocket. Outpatient surgery, $350 flat copay. Skilled nursing facility benefit, 160 for days 21 through 60, and then imaging at 20%. On the right-hand side, this is a quote that I previously pulled for a 65-year-old male at 98101. A cancer policy that pays the client a flat $5,000. They get cancer, it's anything other than basal cell skin cancer. They, they get a $5,000 check. That basically is gonna cover their max out of pocket or it's gonna cover most of their max out of pocket. They're gonna pay $6.28 a month for that particular policy. And it's $6.28 for every additional $5,000. So if they wanted a $10,000 policy, that's only $12.56 a month. You can't tell me that that's not an affordable benefit. Personally, every individual who is on Medicare should be purchasing a policy like that. Well, you say, well, Jameson, what if they're on a Medicare supplement plan? They don't have that risk. Well, they don't have the medical risk, but the bottom line is people who end up getting cancer tend to have additional bills beyond their medical. They tend to have issues where they need to travel places in order to handle their treatment. Maybe that's local travel. Maybe they're flying out to the Mayo Clinic. Maybe they're flying to MD Anderson down here in Houston. So they have additional travel. People who get terminal cancer oftentimes are wanting to give gifts to people to try and provide additional tokens of love to family members because they don't they know that they don't have that much time left. A lot of people who have cancer want to try alternative care. 
all right? So there's a lot of additional costs that our health insurance plans don't cover under cancer. And at $12.56 a month for a $10,000 payout, that's next to nothing and that's extremely affordable. Or to cover a max out of pocket, $6.28 a month is extremely affordable. Now, if somebody wants to cover their inpatient hospital, and say uh, is on this plan here, $450 a day, days one through three, they can, they can pay $30.85 a month on a Sherbridge product, and that's gonna pay them $450 a day for the first three days that they're in the hospital. Now, let's think about this for a minute. So if I go into the hospital and I'm there for three days and I pay that $450 a day for three days, so 1,350 bucks, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to pay that and within a week I'm gonna be reimbursed that amount of money. So not only did it cost me ultimately nothing to go to the hospital for that stay, but it also went towards my max out of pocket. So I still get credit towards my max out of pocket. It's a supplement for a Medicare Advantage plan is, a, is an interesting way to think about it. Now the hospital is the base benefit. I'm gonna show you how this all works when we get into the quote, but this is just an example. The hospital is the base benefit. You can add additional riders to that hospital plan. You can say, well, I want a $500 um, up to, used up to twice a year outpatient surgery benefit. That's gonna be an additional $13.93 a month. You can put a skilled nursing facility benefit on there that pays you 200 bucks a day for days 21 through 60. That's $6.18 a month. You can put an imaging benefit on there at 500, uh, up to use twice a year at $13 a month. So if we look at this and we say, look, I wanna cover my risk of hospital, cancer up to the max out of pocket, skilled nursing facility, and outpatient surgery risk, I'm gonna pay $57.24 a month. That's almost $200 cheaper than being on a similar Medicare supplement plan based on the examples that we gave earlier. So we've now created a package for somebody that fills that gap in between Medicare Advantage and Medicare supplement. Now I know you're thinking a lot of questions right now. You think, well, how does somebody get into it? Does this pay me anything? Uh, how easy is it to, to take care of these applications? I don't have time when I'm dealing with my customers to deal with something like this. I'm gonna show you and, and, and address all of those things here in a few minutes. All right, but I just wanna show you a thought here. And that's if we look at things as a package sale, if we consider more than just, I'm selling United Healthcare, Primera, um, Health Alliance plans, I'm selling something other than the packaged product that's already out there. And instead I'm creating and customizing for my client based on their needs and their risk. Not only are you better serving your client, not only are you building a reputation for yourself as the insurance agent that does goes above and beyond and does more and customizes and personalizes for your clients so you're beyond an order taker now but you're also getting paid handsomely to do so think about that for a second what kind of a marketing opportunity do you have to say sure you can go sign up with somebody and they're gonna look at your plan and they're gonna sign you up for a plan. I'm gonna look at your needs and I'm gonna fill your needs. I'm gonna make sure that even if you want this particular plan, we're gonna customize it and tweak it just a little bit more to make it even better for you. $57 a month is next to nothing to reduce your risk dramatically on a Medicare Advantage plan. And it's not nearly as high as a Medicare supplement. It also pays you better. Same exact situation, but with a female client here, you can see the hospital benefit is identical. The cancer policy is what drops by a couple of bucks. So in this case, it'd be $55.24 a month to cover the exact same risk. So uh, this, these products are zip code based, age, uh, age based, and gender based. Uh, of course, if it's uh, a cancer policy or a critical illness, it's gonna be um, a smoker base as well. Now, I do want you to know that on this particular company, these products are issue age. So the cheaper they are, they, the younger they are, when they purchase the product, the cheaper they are. Uh, these are not attained age. These are not market rated or community rated. These are issue age products, which I think is a great thing because they're actually still extremely affordable even after age 65. So let's go ahead and do a demo uh, and and do uh, uh, and show you exactly what this is going to look like. All right. So this is just a generic quoting tool that I'm in right now for this particular carrier. You as an agent would have a little bit better quoting tool that allows you to build out a package a lot easier. But this will give you an idea. So I'm going to pull up a 65 year old male in uh, in King County, Washington. All right. Just because I've already I've already got it here. Give it just a second here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to play with a couple of things so you can see it. The cancer policy is really straightforward. Now, what you see in front of you, these are all of the products that they offer in that zip code to somebody of that age. So don't get overwhelmed. Right now, we're going to look at this section right here, the very top that says Senior Cancer Wise Plus. All right. If I were to just drop this down to $5,000 and leave all the writers alone, you can see that my total monthly premium is $6.28 a month. Okay. Now, if you were to bump this up to say $25,000, it's pretty easy on this particular plan if you leave the writers alone. It's $6.28 times uh, whatever the $5,000 increments are. So in this case, five. So $31.40. So let's just put this at a $10,000 limit. And then let's look at some of these additional writers that are on there. There is a critical condition writer that allows for uh, issues such as heart attack and stroke to also pay out. Um, the health screening writer, don't think it's necessarily worth it. You pay $4 a month, so $48 a year, in order to recoup a $50 check if you essentially go get a physical. So, all right, fine. I mean, they pay $48 a year to make a $2 profit. Seems like a waste of time to me. Um, heart attack and stroke reoccurrence, same situation if you go with the critical illness and you have a second heart attack or stroke, this will end up paying out again. The one I really want to show you, though, here is this invasive cancer recurrence rider. So on a $10,000 benefit at $12.56 a month, for $1.10, we're adding an invasive cancer recurrence rider. What this means is typically on a cancer policy, if somebody gets cancer, the policy is going to turn around and pay out. And it's not paying out based on what type of cancer they have. It's going to pay out essentially the entire amount, regardless of what type of cancer they have. Now, if it's basal cell skin cancer, it's, it's not a payable benefit. But if they get any form of invasive cancer, it's going to pay, write you a check for $10,000 and then cancel your policy at that point forward. So it's, it's done its job. The invasive cancer rider allows that policy to continue on. And if you get a recurrence of cancer, and it doesn't have to be the same type of cancer, it just has to be another invasive cancer uh, uh, type, you'll get another 50% payout. So in this case, another $5,000. So for $13.66 a month, you essentially get a two payout, $15,000 max benefit policy. All right, these are very, very inexpensive. And here's the best part. In order to sell this, literally it's all online. You click these buttons, you click add, you, end, you essentially go in and enter in the client's information, answer some health questions. We'll talk about underwriting here in a second. As long as all the health, health questions are no, policy is issued, you're done, you get paid. Very, very simple. So let's back out of the cancer for a second. Let's go down just to the, the hospital product because I think this is where you're really gonna start even further customizing the health plans on the Medicare Advantage side. So we're gonna look at this product called Senior Hospital Wise. Now, Using that same benefit that we did before, so $450 a day times three days. As you can see, we've got benefits from $50 a day all the way up to $1,000 a day. And then we've got benefit periods that are three, six, 10, and 21. Some people are gonna wanna match this on the basis of how many days their Medicare Advantage plan pays out. There's some plans out there that are a 450 a day times four day. Well, you don't have a four day here, so you've got a few options. You can go to a six day. And then the person can make an additional 900 bucks while they're in the hospital if they end up going uh, going in for six days. Or you could say, let's go to a $600 a day times three to match the maximum that I could spend during that four-day period, which is 1,800 bucks. So 450 times four is 1,800. 600 times three is 1,800. You could go that route to cover the entire risk. Now we're going to go the, four, the 600 times three. All right, let's requote that real fast. So this number changes and gets a little more doable. So right now we're at $41.13 a month. Now, let's talk about what these, uh, these different riders are. This really allows you to further customize the product for the individual. You could put an ambulance rider on there. And now we could say most of the time an ambulance is just under $200, all right, for flight uh, or ground. Um, a just under $200 rider, this basically says you can use it four times a year. If, you're, uh, if you ride in an ambulance, it adds only almost $3 a month to premium. That's next to nothing. So you could cover the ambulance risk completely for somebody. Emergency care. Emergency rooms are, I want to say they're $90 in most cases on a plan. All right. So we'll put a $100 benefit on there. $1.42 for this individual to completely cover their emergency room up to four times per year as well. So we're starting to cover the risk for people without adding a lot of money in premium. We're, not, we're nowhere near the amount of a Medicare supplement plan. 
Health screening rider, same situation. I'd leave that one alone at the moment. Uh, lump sum hospital confinement probably isn't something you need. Outpatient major diagnostic. So this is going to be your MRIs, your CAT scans, uh, things along those lines, and it can be used up to two times per year. All right, for a $500 benefit, since most of the time we're talking about a 20% coinsurance. All right, I would put probably a maximum of $500 on there. All right, it's $13.02 a month. Now, we got to remember if we think about MRIs and CAT scans that these are not street prices that people are paying their 20% on. These are the Medicare approved rates, so which are significantly less. All right, I've seen an $1,800 MRI turn into a $555 MRI, and then you take your 20% off of that. All right, you're a little over 100 bucks. So I've also seen some very expensive imaging turn into a little bit more expensive than that. But the bottom line is, is that you can adjust based on the person's risk. And even if this doesn't cover all of it, this is going to take away a lot of that sting to an individual who's got to pay their copay. And remember, their copays and everything that's paid for, even if it's reimbursed by this product, continue to be uh, counted towards the individual's maximum out of pocket. All right. So they're not losing the benefit of that max out of pocket. Uh, if somebody wants to add in an outpatient surgery rider, they've got anywhere between $250 and $2,000 per outpatient surgery rider up to two times per year. Now, this one gets a little expensive. If you go two grand, we're talking $55 a month, all right? I would probably use this to cover somebody's copay at around $500, all right? That brings it down to $14 a month. That may still be a little rich for some people, all right? So you got to think about who the individual is and what actually works for them. And then if I wanted to add skilled nursing, you know, $200 a day, I've got up to $500 a day, as little as 100. I can use various different benefit periods. In this case, we're going to say days 21 through 100, but $200 a day for days 21 through 100 is only $6.18 a month. That's very, very inexpensive. Not long-term care insurance, because this doesn't cover somebody long-term care. All right, this only covers up to 100 days, which is still short-term care. But this is going to cover that copay in the case that somebody does end up in a skilled nursing facility. If somebody does have a surgery or a condition that puts them in there for quite some time. So my mother-in-law, the reason she was in for so long was she had a, a massive stroke. And that put her in the hospital for six months and then moved over to a skilled nursing facility for another three months. So imagine what the bill would have been had she been just on original Medicare or on a Medicare Advantage plan. She would have paid a significant amount of money. So I've added a lot of different riders on this plan. If I wanted to just take this as is and cover all that stuff, we're looking at $78.63 a month. That's still cheaper than a Medicare supplement plan and covers the vast majority of the risk. You know, add another 12 bucks in for the, uh, the cancer policy at $10,000, puts us around $90. But I would say we probably don't need this outpatient surgery rider. That was uh, probably a little too much. Probably I'm going to risk the imaging as well and pull that out. I like the skilled nursing benefit. I love adding these ambulance and emergency care riders in there. I mean, you're talking $4 roughly for, uh, you know, a little over $4 for uh, coverage on a couple additional benefits. It really makes the sale to the client a lot more palatable when you say, look, you, you don't have to worry about paying ambulance. You don't have to worry about paying ER. You don't have to worry about paying your hospital bill. You don't have to worry if you get cancer. All right. And yet you're still getting all these great additional benefits on a Medicare Advantage plan. All right, so if we take that stuff out and leave in just those three additional benefits on top of the hospital benefit, $51.68 a month. Very, very affordable, all right? And the best part is, is typically commissions on these run around 50% for first year. So you're going to make about $300 on this policy. So you sell that Medicare Advantage plan, maybe you've already replaced uh, another MA plan, so you're at $241, get another roughly $300 on this one. You've just made $541, provided a better service to your client, probably retained them and gained referrals because of the phenomenal service that you made, covered your client in a better way so you can sleep better at night, all right, and made a lot more money on top of that. So um, that's a that's just a, a quick quote to show you kind of how this all works out. Very, very simple. They have other products as well we're not going to talk about today. Uh, critical condition uh, products that cover uh, uh, anything cardiac or cancer. Um, but what I want to show today is really just the hospital product and the cancer product. These two combined, and you can sell them at the same time on the exact same application. These two combined allow us to really customize and remove the risk of a Medicare Advantage plan. 
All right, now let's talk about how easy it is to sell these products, all right? How easy it is to think through with your clients. And, and you may think to yourself, this is a lot of additional work, all right? It's really not. And you could even go as far as building out a package and say, look, we're just gonna cover cancer, we're just gonna cover cancer and hospital, and we're gonna cover cancer hospital and ambulance ER and SNF. So build out a three option package, you can quote it in about a minute and a half so that uh, either you can do it with your client sitting there or you can have it prepared and sit there and say, look, you have this option. Great. Do you want to go ahead and cover these additional benefits so that you remove that risk from yourself and it's not going to cost you that much money each month? So building out a, a quick kind of menu of package, if you will, that you can just add in a premium on top of um, certainly makes the, the proposal to the client a lot easier. Um, but even furthermore, will make it so that uh, they're going to say yes to something. They're going to pick something, and then you can further go in and tweak the numbers if you need to. So this particular carrier, over 90% of the submissions are issued immediately. You click the buttons on the website, you put the information in, it will tell you that it's issued right there. So most of the stuff is going to be issued. You've got 24 access to their sales support. Obviously, you've got access to the agency RM sales support uh, through uh, normal business hours between Central and Pacific. So we open up here. I'm always in the office by 7 a.m. Central. Our phones open up at 8 a.m. Central. And then we close uh, our phone lines at 5 p.m. Pacific, so 7 p.m. Central, uh, five days a week. Then, of course, you've got access to the leaders here. You've got access to all of our cell phones. Many of you have called me after hours, and I answer my phone. I'm here to take care of you. So we're here, as well as you've got the producer support of Sherbridge. Um, signature options in this are really easy. You can do face-to-face, -face, which isn't going to be paper. It's still going to be uh, electronic, but face-to-face, -face, email, voice signature, uh, text message, and then you can even do a screen sharing. So they make it really, really easy to use their technology to get these, the sale on these. Um, the, the underwriting, all right, on the two products that we talked about is always going to be true simplified issue underwriting. Now, you may say, well, what the heck is simplified issue? Think about a Medicare supplement application. You enter in information on yes, no questions. You don't take blood. You don't pee in a cup. You don't have to have a nurse come out to your house. You don't have to go take a physical. That simplified issue. I would call this even further simplified issue in that the application is shorter than that of a Medicare supplement plan. It's much, much easier to complete. It's all online, and so it's doing real-time workflow to tell you which questions you need to answer. You don't have to read through the application and figure out for you know each carrier which boxes you need to check and which ones you need to need to uh, ignore. They don't do uh, medical information, information bureau checks or prescription histories or anything like that or telephone interviews like a final expense policy would do when they call it simplified issue underwriting. This is true simplified issue. If they can answer no to all of the questions on the application and the product is available in their state, they're going to get the product. It's that simple. All right, and I'm, I'm going to show you what the knockouts are on the hospital product here in just a second. It's pretty easy. So they make life extremely simple to sell this product. So here's the knockout conditions. Essentially, if somebody is currently on oxygen, a pacemaker, they've got ADL deficiencies, they're pregnant, confined to a nursing home, a hospital, or a wheelchair, they're out. Within the past year, if somebody's been con confined to a hospital more than three times, or they've got uncontrolled cholesterol and, uh, or blood pressure and they're not taking medication for it, they don't work. In the past two years, if they've had ab abnormal tests with no follow-up, uh, or pending surgery tests or treatments, all right, then they're not going to make it. Or diabetes requiring more than 50 units of insulin per day or an A1C greater than 7. They've got COPD, lung disease, cystic fibrosis uh, within the past two years, probably not going to make it through. Um, if the past three years there's substance abuse, major depression, or a psychiatric or psychotic disorder, rather, um, don't, don't bother filling out the application. Past five years, heart attack or disease, stroke or mini stroke, Alzheimer's, dementia, hep C, cirrhosis, liver disease, kidney failure, Parkinson's, ALS, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis with bone fractures. So not just osteoporosis, but with bone fractures. They're not going to make it through. Or if they've had cancer in the last 10 years, they're not going to make it through. And of course, anybody with uh, organ transplant has HIV or AIDS, uh, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, they're not going to make it through. These are fairly easy questions to be able to say no to. Most of your clients are going to pass this test. The last test of it is in the last three years, were they prescribed any medication for more than a month 
other than medications used to treat diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, menopause, ulcers, asthma, allergies, depression, anxiety, migraines, ADD or ADHD, thyroid issues, erectile dysfunction, benign prostate enlargement, heartburn or acid reflux, sleep aids, contraceptives, antibiotics, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, uh, or anti-inflammatory analgesics, uh, or dermatological creams. So most of what your clients take today fall within one of those categories, which means they're good. All right. It's if somebody has a unique situation that they're not going to work out on. So if they're taking a medication and it's not for one of those, they're not going to make it into the hospital wise program. So super, super simple application to fill out. All right. Knowing the, the medications is going to be probably the hardest part is understanding what somebody's taking it for. Typically, it will state this on the bottle. All right. If not, a very, very quick Google search of the, the uh, medication name will tell you exactly what it's used for. If they can answer no to all these questions, they've just passed and they're getting the product. That simple. All right. So in order to sell this product, in order to contract this product, it's 100% online contracting. There is a short 20-minute certification. I did it myself. It, it helps give you a little bit more information about the product, makes life um, actually a lot easier in understanding some of the little nuances that uh, you're going to want to ask things like, how long does it take to pay out to a client? How does a client um, submit a claim? These types of things are all included. Very, very easy stuff. Um, all of the enrollments are 100% online. All right. Very, very easy to do. I've, you know, you get a specific portal for you. You can send it out to a client to go ahead and self-serve or you can do it for them. Multiple ways to collect the signature as we've already talked about. All right. It pays fantastic commissions. Uh, as with most insurance products outside of the Medicare world, commissions are front loaded. So they're going to be first year. All right. And then um, you'll get uh, a much lower renewal. So typically it's about street levels, about 50% of the first year premium. So you're talking, uh, you know, on a product I just showed you, you're talking about a $300 commission on that. And then renewals, I think, are sitting around 5%. So you're not making a lot of money on the back end. You're making money taking care of the people uh, up front, customizing that product. And once you do that, even if you change their Medicare Advantage plan in the future, you usually don't need to go back and resell one of these products. They just stick around and they continue to cover those needs and take care of a client. Remember, if you have three or more uh, products with a client, so you've sold them a Emeritus dental plan, you've sold them a Surebridge hospital wise and cancer policy, you've sold them a Medicare Advantage plan, the likelihood of them going to another agent is extremely low your retention rates skyrocket when you've got three products or more. So you're increasing your commission. You are better serving your client, which is the ultimate goal here. Commission's a side effect, as we all know. Focus on the client, not on the dollar. You'll make more sales, and you'll be able to sleep at night, and you'll get more referrals out of it. Um, but you make more commission. You better serve your client, uh, and you don't have to rewrite these products, but then you also increase your retention rate across the board. So very, very easy. So I definitely recommend thinking about the, these types of products. All right, think about Sherbridge. Think about uh, Medico or GTL. And I'm really pushing and, and talking about Sherbridge because the pricing is better uh, in, in most cases. The customizability is better. The ability to sell these products uh, and sell multiple products at a time if you're doing a cancer and a hospital indemnity are uh, far easier because of their technology. This makes the overall process so much more doable. Even during AEP, it is so much more doable, so much easier to bring these types of products up, all right? And what you're doing ultimately is better serving your client, understanding what risk tolerance levels do they have. Let's go back to that page. You know, where do they fit on the spectrum of risk for what it is that they need? Most of our clients, as we know, are not original Medicare high-risk clients. Uh, in fact, I know very few people that are just original Medicare because we all know that's under insurance. So most people fall in the Medicare Advantage or Medicare Supplement bucket. You know, which one are you? Are you somebody that likes to, you know, not pay anything uh, when you're going to a doctor and you just want to pay everything up front? Sure, you see the doctor twice a year. And so you've just paid $1,000 per visit to go see the doctor. You'd be better off self-insuring. Or are you the type of person that would rather pay for your utilization and gain a little bit more in a package type product? Are you that individual that wants to have prescription drugs, medical, dental, vision, fitness, all in one bundle so you've got one card for everything and one company to call for, for everything? Are you that person? All right, and if so, do you want to reduce your risk even further? 
Do you want to make sure that when you pay those copays, the big ones, the ones that could potentially put you into that maxima out of pocket, the ones that you are wavering whether to go on a Medicare Advantage or Medicare supplement plan because of those particular benefits, do you want to ensure that those are paid for uh, on your behalf and you don't have to worry about them? Do you want to supplement for your Medicare Advantage, in other words, and not pay anywhere near the price of a Medicare supplement plan? That's the question to ask. And I would personally, as I mentioned before, create a menu of, hey, you know, which of these additional things would you like to cover? You know, get somebody to have a, a low, medium, high option. Uh, and then all you have to do is punch in their, their zip code and their birthday, and you can very easily run that quote for them and know exactly what it's going to cost. Make it super, super simple. Thank you very much for both your attention today, the uh, time that you've spent with me, but also for your commitment to Agency RM and the commitment to the success and well-being of your members. That's what we're about here is making sure grandma and grandpa are taken care of in any and all ways. Uh, we appreciate the fact that all of you do that so well. If there's anything we can do for you, you have any questions or you have any needs, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 855-721-8088, or uh, service at agencyrm.com.